it's a total honor to be here with you this morning. And um, we all know these are not easy times, but we are so blessed to have this technology that allows us to welcome Fahadi from Uganda and friends from Australia and New York and certainly our local community here and so many places around the world. Thank you so much for showing up so that we can gather and we can remember our wholeness, our well-being in this time when so much is in unrest. There's so much unknown and there's so much suffering, truth be. Obviously, we know this through all rites of passage, through all initiatory experiences, there's always this potential for something profound and beautiful to emerge. And we keep our gaze focused on that while we tend to so many complex things in our day-to-day -day lives. We're blessed to have the dance, which is an ancient and enduring portal way of coming home to ourselves, of connecting with that which is bigger than ourselves, that which is sustainable and potent within ourselves, that which connects us to the earth and to all our relations. And today we're gonna dedicate our dance to that to really remembering how connected we are. And in those moments when we're feeling so disconnected, dysregulated, disoriented, we can come back to these simple practices as a way of coming home to ourselves, as a way of remembering that we have this wealth of resources to help us find moments of peace, find clear thinking, return to our open hearts and our grounded ways of being here. And for many of us, it's almost an hourly practice of needing to get lost and get found. And today we're gonna go deep. We're gonna take a full hour plus a little more to really journey through the many different states that we are always journeying through, but we're so busy taking care of what needs to be done in these times. And this is a time out of time. We're in a big, huge collective time out of time. And this morning is another one, a moment to pause. And with that, I'd love to ask you all to just take a moment. Let's just ah, pause. And perhaps we're pausing to remember all the doctors and the nurses and the caregivers, the emergency caregivers out on the front lines or on the hotlines. Or we're pausing to remember those elders or those who are in places around the world who actually don't have internet and things shut down before they were able to get an abundance of food. Perhaps we're pausing to remember family members that are really far away that are making choices we don't agree with. Or we're pausing to understand the magnitude of the financial struggles that are before so many. Whatever it is, we're not bypassing, we're being with as we dive into our dance today. And ah, we couldn't be here without the most epic group of people who helped me make this moment possible. And I really wanna thank Marin and Sarita, Mariah and Manuela, Ariana. And today I have Mark as my techie. What an incredible opportunity for us to open to new ways of being together. So I'm grateful to the team that really makes it possible for us to be here. We're trying a whole new kind of technology. We've been using Zoom forever, but to go on earbuds, earbuds and um, such is a bit of a, a new dance. So if for any reason the music goes out because your internet goes out or something happens with technology, the invitation is to keep moving. Let the energy keep moving through you because that's the whole practice here is how do we access that life force and let it continue to circulate through. Obviously the music and my words are here to help really pump and strengthen the process, deepen it. But if we get disconnected, don't let that stop you from being in your dance fully, okay? And, um, I also want to say that um, if for any reason, you know, the sound for you isn't quite working, you can change it on your computer or you can send messages in your chat box. So many of you know how to use Zoom by now if you didn't already. At the bottom of your Zoom is the little box that says chat. I'd love for you all to say, 
hi, this is Arisa, I'm from Boulder, or this is um, whoever you are from wherever you are, just so we get a sense of who's joined us. Leah from Connecticut, I'm seeing you, I'm so glad to see you all. And to let us know where you're from, but also if you've got any questions, if you've got any concerns, if you've got any suggestions, pop them on there and the team will be really working. We also have a beautiful support team who will be tracking us. This is a time to come and do your own dance. Yes, I'll be visible. I'm not going to do certain things with my head today. So be each other's teachers. Inspire each other online, okay? And if you need to close your eyes and just go into your own dance, that's great. There will be moments that I invite us out into more intimate connection. Get your water. Pace yourself. And today, we're blessed to open with a prayer that was created by a young person, Ruby, Ruby Begay, who I've known since she was in kindergarten. She popped me an email and says, hey, here's a song or two that's just come through me. And in the spirit of honoring the future that we are all focused on, we're going to open our dance today with a prayer from Ruby. And before we do that, I want to just take a moment, all of us here, and really open ourselves to the spirit, to the ancestors, to the presence of our invisible helpers. We don't have to believe, but we can open to the possibility that there is this love, there is this benevolent force that is pouring into us, that is longing for our attention, attention, and clear intentions. The veils are thin right now. We ask that our well and wise ancestors come be with us here in so much gratitude. We open to your beings. And of course, I'm here in the Rockies because no one's moving too far outwardly. This land, the original dancers of the Cheyenne, the Ute, and the Arapaho, with so much respect, we remember the original people of this land. And I encourage you all in this time out of time after we dance to see whose land you're dancing on. We'll give you information about how to do that. So with that said, the music's gonna pick us up and Ruby's gonna bring us into a deeper prayer and to let ourselves become everything she invokes in, to feel that we are not separate from any of it. And then we'll journey through these beautiful five rhythms as developed by Gabrielle Roth, each of them a doorway, a portal into relationship with different parts of ourselves, our connection with our extended interpersonal selves and the world. And we'll journey through all those places. So I'll see you in the dance. Let's go. Finding our breath. Letting ourselves just breathe in and breathe out. I feel your body underneath my feet. Father, I see. sure to take in the nature that's maybe outside your window or inside your home. Of love for all living kind. 
allowing our breath to breathe in the spirit of all living kind. The fourth circle. That one within and without. In a sense of the children, medicine for us through these times. All the children. Sweet medicine for us through these times. Please like the course for us to make it through the dark. Please give us strength to see the ugliness we feed. Please light the course for us to make it through our minds back into the source of love. Allowing ourselves to feel that longing, that prayer, waking up in every cell, Mother, right from our soul. I lay down my body. Greetings Father, to these bodies. I release all these old skins <sighs> to live these prayers of healing for all who roam. Of those to come for all who roam the earth and all of those to come allowing that innocence that light to pour in we find our breath we allow that spirit to expand to fill and to release, to let our bodies empty. Feeling the wealth of health right in our wounds, right in our bellies, filling. With all that creative potential and releasing fluids and tension. Letting the breath fill our core, right through our organs of digestion and elimination. Softening our bellies right into that solar plexus, filling with the spirit. The regenerative spirit, the nourishing spirit, our inspiration. And yes, right from our pelvic floor, maybe a few kegels, right up through our core, we fill this upper torso, our breast, our chest, our heart face, and our lungs. Filling them with breath, with clear air. The air is clearer as a result of these changing times. Filling the backs of our lungs. We don't need to be afraid of what's happening there. We need to occupy it with our love, with the spirit, with clear vision of air breathing in and out, only that which is life-giving, heart, spine, and torso. And as we warm up each of these parts of our body, filling and emptying, we may notice today that there are places that are tight, 
letting our jaws go with that heart, our face, our eyes. I'm not going to do a lot. Letting our brain soften, head, heart, and hips. To really notice what's like inside, right through our hips, flexors, down into our strong legs. You gotta mute that. Thank you so much. It's great to hear that language spoken. Down into our knees. Good morning. Oh, these knees maybe have been shaking. Let's stretch them. Really show up in them. Let the breath come into them and into our feet. welcoming all the parts of the physical self. Maybe you want to touch them to help yourself feel connected to the ground. Arches, tops of our feet, sides of our feet. Yeah, letting the breath, imagine the life force that's spring here in the northern hemisphere. Imagining the life force pouring up into our feet and our roots right out connecting with one another all over this blessed planet. Life force coming up through our legs, back into our hips and our spine, our hearts, our breasts, our chest, to our shoulders. Whoa. Things we're carrying to one another. Letting them soften and mobilize shoulders right down to the soles of our feet, right up from our pelvic floor through our heart, elbows, remember when elbow bumps were cool, those days are just done, just open the windows around our lives, they're not done for good, just for now, and right from the soles of our feet, we're going to let the energy rise up through our body all the way through and out to the palms of our hands, the tips of our fingers, rising up through our heart, reaching feet and hands, feeling the root down through our pelvic floor and the crown of our head As we start to bring in all the parts together, our wings, picking up on the work of other dances, right and left, upper body, lower body, front and back, stretching into our sides, let the breath the subtle movements of all the parts, places that are tense, let them tense and soften and open. As we dive into the circle of our own being, dancing with what's true, what's most intimate and real deep inside. Maybe we don't know, let the rhythm move you. Maybe a part of your body's super tight or more scared. Let other parts resource with the breath, the love pour through. And let's really come down into our feet. Because we will never. stop with our feet in the beat connected to the heartbeat of life
connected to all those who dance forever and all time. We're part of that circle. Through crisis and celebration, feet in the beat. Remembering to stay hydrated. Noticing our own spine. And our own micro movements. Dance is such a powerful way. To allow the energies that long sequence through to not get stuck. To express themselves. Let's get those hips in there. We're not only part of the circle, but each in our own way, we're on the front line, feeling the power of the line. How we can cut through our own bullshit. Begin to find life-giving, loving ways to cut through that which simply isn't true. Within and in the spaces between us. Take a moment to let yourself Dance with each other. Inspire each other. Feel that rhythm. All right, it's always changing. We haven't learned that in the last few weeks. But have we learned? This song is called Bring in the Drum. Let the beat wake up that warrior. So we contemplate how to be in right relation, right relationship. We think things outside ourselves. Where do we need to be more disciplined? More straightforward. More hey. educated. Great stuff. Beautiful. Let that out breath happen. And in this time, out of time, we get to be innovative. Try new ways of being and expressing you. Heart and hip. If you're tired, bring it in. 
Noticing the sensation of dryness. Get a drink. Then it feels like fire. Give it room to sequence through. We're all chopping wood right now. Taking care of the ordinary. Feel that healthy will to do what must be done. Remember your head and your shoulders. Relationship with the earth, with our whole vast inner landscape. And each other. Maybe it's a struggle with your children in the house. Or new dynamics with a spouse. Bring it to the dance. Pray for guidance about how to meet it. How to be with the other. In loving and sustainable ways. Feel your heartbeat. It's our heartbeat. Warriors up now. Feel that power. Tuck and Patty, they had a strike. Love warriors. We're sometimes gonna feel like the song is too long or the quarantine is too long. And right in that boredom is a doorway. Hang out there. Right at the edge of the discomfort. yourself shade and soften in staccato and still be very clear. So we keep that heartbeat moving through us. Oh. Relationship with spirit and earth, body and heart, with all those whom we love. And in honor of all our relations, we practice surrender, letting it go. I don't get to decide how those I love care for themselves. I can offer suggestions. But then we gotta let it go. As Ruby said, shed our skin. So we let our head and our upper body surrender to that beat in the beat. How can our dance, our life, this moment be an offering? We're all part of this big giveaway ceremony. Shaking out our arms, our heads and spine. Shaking out our hips and legs. Shaking out our 
how are y'all doing? This isn't a spectator, this is a participatory moment that we share together. Finding our own dance, our own moving prayer. Maybe we need to let go of the way the fear has bottled itself in our thighs. Go there. Be your own medicine person. Meet the shaking. Let it transform. Is that ancient? way of praying. Notice what's happening with the breath. Let it in or keep shaking it down. How do we stay awake in the long shakedown of these times? How do we pace ourselves? Yes, your voices too. Yeah, I mean, have it, 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 the healthy waters moving through our bodies. Let your dance grow if it needs to. can be soft and small, or soft, small and intense, it's true for you. When it's time to come all the way in, do some. Checking in, how's your solar plexus? What's happening? It's not about overriding it because we know the chaos is gonna keep going. How do we stay connected to ourselves in it? Root down deeper. Let's be disciplined for a little bit together. Let's shake out our hands. All that Clorox, if we're so fortunate to have it. All that dryness, let it come into our arms. Shoulders. Lips. I'm not going to do my head, but you go ahead and do so. I don't want to lose my airpods. You go ahead. Let your brain soften. Doubt. 
right to that upper torso. <laughs> that heart. Those lungs. Down through our spine. <laughs> and notice where it feels essential, needed. Down through our hips. We don't have to be afraid of losing connection with our creative creativity and all creation. Coming online even stronger right now. We may have to shake out some projects that won't go forward with us. Now throw the legs. to those beautiful feet. And we stay with it. We're into the long haul. All the body parts. Hey, 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 Got sound, let him rip. Pick out for those who may be taking out the body altogether. Releasing across the threshold. Take it out for those that really are cooped up for themselves. Fall flat with ten people crowded. Fuck all of us without water. The journalist trying to tell a story that honestly truthfully way. Who are the people? So we can ally with. <laughs> Letting the spirit in letting it into the places that need it. Inspiration. Let the new form Oh, that creativity. Oh. We keep our feet in the beat. Let the breath in. Oh. Maybe you need to literally open the window more in your house. We open the windows in our minds, in our hearts, in our, our wombs, regardless of our gender. 
in our will. What's really calling you from the world today? Water, keep doing it. That sweet spot where we've been emptied, we continue to empty.
So I'm taking my earbuds out. Can you hear me now? Yeah, cool. This next dance, let's collectively take all this love and all the spaciousness and really to all those souls that are crossing. Let's be the big wise in these times. Helping lift and bless them as they burning. Okay, because I got sound over there. I can't be the music. Okay, as long as you can hear the music, everything's good.
doing the work of that world and this one. ourselves right here. All that out there. Bring ourselves right here. Bring ourselves and hug right back to ourselves.
as we come into our last dance. Let's take time to really help ourselves feel the ground in our own bodies. Wash our hands. For now, let's touch the backs of our necks and forehead. Our hearts. Now, with all that medicine, you can keep moving or you can come in close. Whatever's true for you. Grounding through touch and movement. has your attention. And from this place, what are your intentions? How to deepen a relationship.
we come to a close to ask ourselves, what is it to be in right relationship with ourselves, our individuated selves? And to allow ourselves to make a shape that helps us remember what comes through this portal that opens in the dance. Listen. Let yourself be surprised by what your body tells you. Your soul speaking through it about how to meet the week ahead. Yeah, deep breath in and out. And as we look out and see each other, many of us are friends, some of us have never met. However, we are here together to let ourselves make a shape. Perhaps it's utter gratitude, which is what's pouring through me as I see your sweet faces. Or maybe it's time to get more active and reach out to some of our community members or family members that might need something now, or who knows what, but to let ourselves make a shape of what is calling us into right relations with our people in the week ahead. Yeah, feel that softening, letting our brain soften, our jaw soften, our eyes, feeling streaming in from behind us so much wealth of love. Perhaps it was when we were midwifing and sending blessings to those who were transitioning or contemplating our friends and tricky places at this time. We'll let ourselves move and make a shape that connects us with the wider. What is turning you on, what's calling you up, calling you into right relationship in the week ahead. What is it? Who is it? How are we to be here? We don't need to know, just need to allow our body souls to tell us. <sighs> Letting that soften too as we come back and yeah, putting our hands together to bring ourselves back to our own center line and our hands on our hearts or our arms holding our high 19. Taking a moment to really be with yourself. Yeah. I, as we come to a close, let's just take a moment of quiet together from our feet, through our wounds, to our hearts and these lungs, through our wings. crown of our head. May we see clearly, speak kindly, and show up generously in devotion to this great mother, to all sentient beings, to our friends of spirit, our invisible helpers and all those who are invisible, we offer this dance. Blessed be. So thank you. I'm grateful to be able to be here every Sunday in this way with you all. It's helpful to me and I hope to you too. Please continue to keep moving through the week. There's so many ways to do that and get outside. We'll post uh, things that inspire us through the week on our Facebook, Melissa Michaels, or Golden Bridge. We now have Instagram for Golden Bridge. We'll be sending out mail chimps, and we'd love to have you with us on that. 
you can sign up online on goldenbridge.org. Again, so much gratitude to the team. Thank you so much for helping to hold us. I see your sweet faces here. I want to honor the musicians, all of whom we have permission to share their music. Such profound blessings they pour forth. Danya and Eyal Rivlin, James Asher, Raven Recording, Gabrielle Ross Music with Robert Ansel, and um, Ruby, your sweet music. Ruby Begay, you opened us today. Thank you all for that. What a what a profound gift it is to be able to stream your ministry as medicine for our bodies and souls at this time. <sighs> Again, I'm Melissa Michaels, and may we all take super good care of ourselves and one another. And we'll meet again here next Sunday. We are continuing to shift how we're showing up. The best technology for us is still being uh, discovered. So we really welcome your feedback. Post your pictures of all those beautiful children and your, your thoughts and whatever occurs to you on, on our Facebook. And um, thank you. Be well, be healthy. And let's continue. Thank you for supporting Golden Bridge so that we can continue to send resources to those who truly are really in a tight spot right now. And um, just all blessings. Let's keep orienting towards life. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you.